Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mercedes-Benz W204. The transition of more person strut in front didn't affect the resource in the best way. The shock absorbers can begin to float after 60,000 km, the springs break. Support bearings do not like operation in mud very much. They can place with a crunch after a few hours of driving on a dirt load. Levers are more reliable. With relatively careful handling, they often live up to hundreds of thousands. The front longitudinal doesn't like pits and pumps and rear transverse, lateral overloads and thin rubber. Of the elements which can be replaced separately, a hydro-filled ball joint of the trailing arm. All the rest should be changed in assembly, but economists managed to repress silent blocks with a predictably lower resource than the original. The rear suspension of the traditional Mercedes designed with five levers per side, but for the W204 and 212 it was slightly lightened. And as a result, the resource of the main links dropped to 100 150 thousand mileage. The interval bar bushings are non replaceable, but again, the experiments have found many workarounds, up to the installation of Jiguri on glue. Be careful. It differs constructively here from modification or of to modification. The bulk of the W204, all cars before restyling and versions with V6 after restyling, are equipped with a conventional power steering. The original Bosch pump is expressive. It serves up to 150 to 100,000 mileage. The filter on an unsuccessful design fails. If you change it to a similar one from Chevrolet Niva, you can even console yourself with the fact that this is not really a collective farm, because Bosch supplies the part to the Niva. The rails themselves are not example of reliability, especially often they flow on machines on the first releases. As a rule, this is a consequence of long operation with a giant pump that supplies oil with chips. If there are no leaks but there are knocks, then usually the reason is the worn side bushings. The issue is solved by replacing them with fluoroplastic parts. The design with the UR, which appeared on the cars after restyling, is similar to the Volkswagen one. There is the same double rack with the power selection section at the end opposite from the steering column. The system is well tuned, although surprisingly the steering rods are stronger than the rack itself. A more or less strong side impact leaves the rods without damage, but knocks out the rack, damaging the steering shaft. The mechanical part of the transmission is quite strong. Only the intermediate support of the rear propeller shaft requires regular monitoring and all-wheel drive versions also the bearings of the shaft passing through the engine crankcase. The resource of the front CV joint is less than that of the rear ones, but in general you cannot worry about them. There is nothing to blame for the rear mechanical gearboxes of the 711.6 and 716.6 series. Only the gear selection mechanism wears out to 300,000 and only then there are chances of bearing wear. Also, on the W204 there is such an option as Sequentronic. This is a robotic transmission based on a 716 box, but it is vanishingly rare. There is only one clutch and the operating algorithms are appropriate. Hydromechanical automatic gearboxes are presented in three series. The bulk of the cars before restyling are equipped with the old 5-speed automatic transmission 5G Tronic of the 722.6 series mainly 722.640 W5A550, a fairly strong version of this transmission. The weakest version relied on the lightweight 722.618 W5A330. Cars with V6 engines before installing are equipped with the 7G Tronic 7-speed automatic transmission of the 722.9 series, more precisely 722.903, 722.902, W7C700, and the bulk of cars produced since 2011 have already been equipped with its upgraded version 722.9+. It is also 722.997 W7C700 with the new mechatronics board and modifications on the mechanical part. The old 5-speed gearbox is the most streamlined design by the end of production. Reliability when changing the oil at least once every 60,000 is very high. It's 200 to 150,000 at least until problems with the torque converter lockup lines, GT and the lock solenoids appear, it poses for sure. And if you don't drive repair the gas turbine engine in time and change the oil more often, then it can drive more than 500,000 without repairs. Failures of 722.6 are usually associated with the presence of shocks due to a worn and cold locking turbine engine or accidental, for example, due to a clogged filter or overload. Minor troubles such as leak in wiring gland or problems with the selector are also possible, but they occur with high mileage and are treated inexpensively. Despite the presence of only five stages and a rather old design, the dynamics and fuel consumption of cars with inline force and this automatic transmission are slightly worse than those with a 7-speed one. Of course, it's difficult for it to reach indicators of less than 5 liters per 100 on a highway with a gasoline engine, 
but it will not take extra money for repairs and used boxes are very inexpensive and come across in abundance. The first version, 722.9, is an extremely progressive design. In the mechanical part it still felt that it was created on the basis of an old box, there are even matching parts. But the kinematics is completely new with one widget interlocks, compact and high dynamic range. The most obvious change is that the control unit moved inside the automatic transmission, resulting in a mechatronic. It's a pity that the Siemens mother brought is not designed for a temperature regime beyond 130 degrees, which turned out to be typical for this automatic transmission due to problems with the design of the cooling system. The applied heat exchanger turned out to be ineffective due to a miscalculation with the throughput of the cooling system circuit, and the target temperature was chosen unsuccessfully. This was the first MB experience of raising the operating temperatures of the automatic transmission to 115-120 degrees. The mechatronics electronics worked as one piece, and first of all the speed sensors on it fail. Now they have learned to solder them and to repair and revive birds, and five years ago it was a big problem. The automatic transmission wiring harness also fell in price and over time became heat resistant like the box seals. The high temperature also contributes to the wear of the linings of the blocking mechanism of the gas turbine engine, which leads to the need to repair it with runs up to 100,000 or more. At the same time, the mechanical part is quite strong with the cute margin. It's possible to ruin the oil pump or bushings only during long-term operation with dirty oil. Some leaks are associated with its unsuccessful design, but with regular oil changes and compliance with the temperature regime, there are no special problems with it. It's difficult to monitor the oil level, since there is no controlled dipstick, although it can be ordered and supplied separately. Due to the very high temperature, the box requires the use of oils with a new tolerance and doesn't relate well to universal ones. Even the early releases of the box have a problem with the cracking valve of the automatic transmission, purely mechanical problem due to a miscalculation in strength. The whole set of problems provided the box with bad fame. On the first W204 with runs of 60-90,000, an automatic transmission was often sent to repair. Dealers changed the mechatronic several times and sorted out the automatic transmission. The main points were eliminated by 2010, and a little later a new version was released, 7G Tronic Plus, with a new electronic board and at the same time a modified cooling system. From the good news when buying cars with 722.9, it can be noted that this unit is almost ideally diagnosed by the scanner, since the electronics constantly monitor the optimal switching pressure in each of the packages and the base pressure in the box. According to the data on adaptations, one can judge on state of the particular instance, at the same time it's worth looking at the software version. It has been significantly updated, improving the algorithms of work. The new version of the 722.9 box served well until the appearance of the 9-speed automatic transmission of the 7025 series, since the main design problems were solved. The operating temperatures were lowered, which improved the working conditions of the electronics, wiring, gas turbine engine clutches and oil pump. Finally, the service regulations were corrected. Now quite officially, the gearbox requires regular oil changes every 60,000. The oil itself was changed to an even more heat-resistant one. Initially, it was with a tolerance of 236.14, but then with a tolerance of 236.15. They even differ in color and new oil is dark blue instead of pinkish yellow. It's assumed that they must not be mixed and the new well bodies prevent the use of old oils. This opinion is widely supported by all professionals, but in practice everything is not so bad. Just adaptations on the wrong oil will not be ideal. Moreover, the box also works on ordinary mineral oil on the Dextron 3rd standard, although not for long. Mineral water loses its lubricating properties in 10 or 20,000 run, along the way heavily contaminating the box. And synthetics are selectively aggressive towards the number of 722.9 materials, and there is always a chance to fill in something inappropriate. In short, really need to use the original oil, but if you fill the 722.9 plus with old oil instead of new, then no one dies. The reliability of this design is slightly inferior to 5G Tronic 722.6, but it's still much more expensive to repair. With careful operation, the linings of the gas turbine engine serve more than 200,000, and the mechanical part of the unit can go through 1,500, subject to intermediate repairs with runs of about 250 300,000. Most all wheel drive W204 are V8 V6 engines. In the formatic version, the drive is full time. There is a full fledged differential in the transfer case. The transfer case itself is very reliable. Large gears and a reliable housing, large tapered roller bearings allow it to travel well beyond 200,000, even with powerful motors without problems. Rare problems are associated with breakdowns of bearing cages. Even loss of the differential made here, according to the planetary driver gear scheme, is damaged. 
The engine range of the W204 is unusually wide. The inline force alone can be roughly divided in three generations. The main engine of the cars before restyling is the M271 in the version with multi-point injection and compressor. Starting in 2009, the transition to the M271 EVO version with direct injection and turbocharging began. And in 2012, a new engine of the M274 line appeared in the turbocharged and direct injection versions with a completely new timing belt and a sprayed iron coating on the cylinder liners rather than cast iron liners. There are two generations of V6, the old M272 and the M276, which are radically different from them. The range is not limited to this, there were also powerful 8-cylinder versions and diesel ones that are rarely found in the country. The basic version is a 1.8 liter engine M271KE18ML with 156 and 184 horsepower for versions C180 and C200. But since the summer of 2008, the younger version 1.8 replaced the 1.6 liter engine m 271 ke 16 ml with a capacity of the same 156 forces. M271 motors are quite strong, but unfortunately they have serious miscalculations with the design of the phase regulator stars, which greatly reduces the resource of the timing chain and can even cause it to fly off the stars, as well as wear of the stars themselves. In the phase regulator, the poor design of the charging spring and centering mechanism over time leads to oil pressure leaks, vibrations and misalignment of the outer star and camshaft. Everything would be fine if this parts were inexpensive, but the set of stars cost at least $1,800. Now, there are non-original and resorted parts, but their quality floats and the construct is copied from the unsuccessful original for almost everyone. As a result, more than five options for phase regulators from the manufacturer in 10 years of motor production and numerous disgruntled owners. Versions of the engine with a compressor and distributed injection by 2008 were well developed and were reliable in other respects. The compressor serves quietly up to 200,000, bearing wear at phase boost pressure is unlikely. Drag belt and roller wear is increased, but these are inexpensive parts. Of the serious shortcomings of the M271, one can also note the unsuccessful KVKG system ventilation of crankcase gases, the decrease in the efficiency of which comes around with the dilution of the oil with gasoline and a reduced oil resource. Moreover, in winter it's prone to freezing. It's better to change four to five ventilation pipes every year. They are heavily clogged from the inside. The throw output of the system decreases. The check valves are often wedged. The main symptom of problems is oiling of the throttle valve. It's also necessary to monitor oil leaks through the heat exchanger gasket in the oil glass. They become tanned over time. The motors of the M271 EVO family that appeared in 2009 on the C180, C200 and C250 versions Although they have the same index, are very different from their predecessors. Their charging is realized by a turbocharger and the injection is already direct. Besides, the engine management system is completely different. As a result, a new round of troubles. The volume of gasoline entering the oil has increased. As a result, the importance of the correct operation of the crankcase ventilation system has increased. But the problem remained. The tubes still require regular replacement or very high quality oils must be used. At the same time, the power supply system is quite reliable because Mercedes already had a bad experience in implementing direct injection on the 271 series of engines on the W203, and as a result, work was done on the errors. There are no problems with EGR or with the fuel pump and injectors, everything is well diagnosed and works without surprises. Improving the power indicators of motors, increasing the range of phase controllers, increasing the load at low engine speeds due to the new transmission caused a new round of problems with the timing. The M271 EVO's guaranteed chain resource fell from 80, 100 to 60,000 km. The turbine caused problems with the drop in oil pressure and mileage of more than 100,000, but the manufacturer solved this problem by placing a restrictor in the banjo bolt of the turbine drain line. The part is cheap, about $10, and it's definitely worth changing it. An attempt to increase the operating temperature of the motors led to a decrease in the resource of all rubber parts, and in particular the oil ga glass gaskets and the thermostat seal, which were not exemplary before. As a result, the motors often do not warm up and there is even more fuel in the oil. Motors of the M274 family on the W204 are represented by the only versions M274 DE16AL with a volume of 1.6 liters and a capacity of 156 forces for the C. 180 model. The main difference between the M274 series and its predecessors is the use of the thin walled sleeve made of a sprayed iron containing composition rather than a cast iron sleeve and a completely new timing mechanism. 
The first solution definitely increases the disposability of the motors, but it's quite reliable in operation. This is not elusive for you. The coating can even be honed again and has a higher wear resistance than a cast iron sleeve. But if there are problems with the rings or the ingress of abrasive into the inlet, it breaks or stretches to your depths that doesn't allow recovery. The piston group obviously runs longer than on the 271 EVO, where after 250,000 significant linear wear was observed in the TDS area. The timing resource has also grown significantly, however, it's far from the problem free. M111 family with their eternal chain, but 150 to 100,000 chains can pass. But here is a surprise forgotten problems with the face regulator clutch appeared again. The clutch with the code A270050847 first knocks a little and then suddenly turns it over. And immediately, with damage to the cylinder head, valves, and even pistons, they are not designed for blows here. Such a clutch was installed until the spring of 2014, so that almost all. W204 with M274 are at risk. It's necessary to install a new clutch number A270051147. It's stronger. It can also be cranked, but such cases are extremely rare and occur only with the frankly disregard for a knocking motor. The clutch was changed according to your revocable campaign, so it's not at all a fact that you personally will have to change it. Another specific misfortune of the M274 concerns the adjustable pump. The adjustment drive lever breaks down. A recall campaign was also held on the pump and this part was probably replaced, but it's worth rechecking. The impulse discs on the M274 on which the camshaft position sensor are located still turn. You have to monitor their position and when displaced they must be welded to the shaft. More than one page can be written about the motors of the M272 series, which in the versions of 2.5, 3.0 and 3.5 liters were installed on the C230, C280, C300 and C350 models until 2009-2011. To summarize briefly the combination of a delicate elusive block, high operating temperature and leaking intake manifold pouring to remains of plastic flaps into the cylinders, an unsuccessful timing belt and an aggressive control system setting that allows easy detonation leads to seizure of oil consumption and these engines already at 150 to 100,000. In theory, a loser allows you to create an almost perpetual motor with a piston group resource of more than 500,000. Because with such runs they may not have wear on the cylinders and rings, but in practice they threaten to scalp up with any oversight and repairs are carried out either by replacing the short blocks or by a liner, which in the case of the 3.5 engine is a rather complicated and expensive undertaking. Also, the motor has expensive face regulators for $400-$500 and there are four of them, current glass of oil filter and a bunch of smaller problems. It's possible to make a capital on the M272 with the replacement of everything in a row, but even with the relatively high cost of W204 on the secondary, this will hardly be a financial justified undertaking. The M276 engines on this generation of the class are represented by only one option. The 3.5 liter 306 horsepower M276DE35 on the C350 versions since 2011. The line of M276 motors is very different from the M272. They even have a block camber angle of 70 degrees so as not to use the balance shaft. Here, as on the M274, a sprayed coating of the liner made of an iron contaminating composition is used, which is very durable and wear resistant. The timing mechanism has become significantly more reliable. There are already separate chains for each cylinder head and one short chain for the intermediate shaft, a simple design of tensioners and a stronger design of face regulators. Chains vary wide for the first two years of production. They tend to stretch and should be replaced as part of an extended warranty. Finally, a normal intake manifold appeared, without fragile dampers and leaks, and after 2014 the, the engine operating temperature was lowered to 92 degrees. Since the 105 degree thermostat on Ellery cars creates many problems with excessive cooking of the crankcase, ventilation system and wear of rubber and plastic engine components, it's recommended to replace it with a late 92 degree thermostat and flash the control unit to turn on the fans early. The second major problem is associated with face regulator couplings and the control mechanism. All the same impulse discs fall off from the shaft and the clutch itself, as on the M274, can turn. Since the engine is naturally aspirated, the clutch turns off much less often, but the essence of the problem is the same. The new version of the A27605037700 clutch is reinforced and if there is still a knock on the chain tensioners and the clutch channel, if there are check valves, must be changed. The price of the coupling is currently about $300, but they are usually changed in pairs. 
All repairs are still very financially serious due to expensive spare parts and the lack of a non-original. So if the car was not serviced by a dealer, then this is a good reason to ask for a discount of 200,000 for minor repairs. In general, this line of motors has become significantly more reliable than the M272. With the timely elimination of timing problems, there are no complaints about the piston group and the power supply system. The main thing is not to forget to update the engine software, it has been significantly improved, reducing the tendency to detonation even on the AI95 and even on versions with a 105 degree thermostat. There are not many diesel engines in the C-Class in Russia, less than 5% of the supply, and they are represented by variants of 2.2 liters OM646 EVO, 2.1 liters OM651 and 3.0 liters OM642, well known from the M-Class W164 and W211. Until 2009, OM646 has problems with intake contamination, airing of the fuel equipment, sticking injectors, glow plugs and a rail pressure sensor. The motor is very reliable, it can travel 300, 400 and more than 1000 km before overhaul. Its successor, OM651, which replaced the well-deserved engine in 2009, is prone to oil pressure drop due to untimely actuation of the solenoid valve of the oil injectors and wear of the oil pump, which manifests itself mainly in the case of its use with the manual gearbox. The automatic transmission avoids the operation of the motor in dangerous modes with high load and low speed. The large diesel V6 OM642 is much more difficult and more expensive to maintain, but it can also be recommended for purchase. On this information about the problems of the Mercedes-Benz C-Class W204 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.